Texas Brown said, what are you Get saying? on down here in Nashville. Let's do it. I'm doing good. But you are coming to see us Friday night. I can't wait. Live. Man, we've had some good parties in Louisville. This is going to be fun up there, huh? Okay. Does this involve drunkenness and coyote? Please tell me. That's yes. us. That's <laughs> us. <laughs> because everyone has a I took drunk coyote home when story. Yeah. I don't think I've ever taken him home. I really just... Has he taken you home? I, no, he is not. And honestly, I try not to put things that throw up in my car in the back. So. <laughs> but, oh, oh. <laughs> but this is exciting. Not only are you coming to see us at 4th Street Live, but uh, this the song, okay, which I find incredibly ironic because you are so not new to this town in any way. But Joe Walsh... How did you get anything done? He is so much fun. Isn't he great? I, it was fun, too, because he came in town and did a Crossroads last week, um, and, and I got to hang out with him some more. I, I love him. I actually met him on uh, Kenny Chesney's stadium tour when Ronnie and I were doing that. Came out and hung for a couple of days, and we just hit it off. It was great, and it was funny. I got done with the song. I thought it was finished, and I was sitting in my, in my uh, countdown office listening to it. And my producer comes in and he goes, that really sounds good. I said, yeah, I think it may be a single. He said, it's, I think what it needs is like some Joe Walsh sounding slide. And I'm like, I don't know, but one person that can do that. That's exactly right. <laughs> and I, anyway, I called him up and he was actually rehearsing with Paul McCartney at the Grammys. It's good and to I, see Joe. I know. I said, I want to send you this, this song I did, see what you think of it. And about five minutes later, he calls back and goes, Dude, I want to play on your song. I go, oh, man, that's what I was hoping you'd say. So I sent him the song. He went to his home studio when he got done with rehearsals. And that night, he emailed me the tracks. And, of course, I'm sitting there looking at this email. go, I have no idea what this might be. You know? <laughs> I know. It could be anything. I know. And, uh, and I played it, and I went, oh, man, this guy is so so, yeah, very special, and just because I admire him so much, he's my favorite player, and for him to take the time and do that was really cool. And he's so funny. I know, he's I mean, hysterical. He's a mega talent, and he's so funny. I know, it, and you know, it's it, that's that's how he talks, too, because I, I told him, I said, when he, he called me up, he goes, well, I put something on there, it's kind of aggressive. I said, I said, well, I know it'll be great. He goes, I hope I'm funny. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's his way of saying, I hope you like it. You know, I hope I'm funny. Oh, that's awesome. I think he should probably co-host an Every Country Cat Gallery. That would be fun. Yeah, he'd be good at that. I don't know if anything would get accomplished, but it would entertain yeah. the heck out of the Yeah, call. we'd probably get through counting down 30 to 28. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more like 29 and a half. When we come back know. next hour, I promise you we'll get 28. <laughs> It's so exciting, you know, having you out on the road solo, having you come to town, and of course you hear kicks, not just musically, but you hear American Country Countdown on WAMZ every weekend, and we couldn't be happier about you coming to 4th Street Live Friday. Night. Thanks, we so are going to have fun. Man, my band is so good, I can't wait to turn them loose on you. You're going to like it. We are ready. Cool, thanks. Thank you so much. Kicks Brooks, Evening Music Fest in Nashville.